All right, all right, all right. All right, we're jumping out the gym with Jelly Roll Juice Jumpers on your back. And right now, I'm about to show you one of the easiest ways to make some income right behind me here. Uh, I have Redbubble, okay? Redbubble, Redbubble, Redbubble. If you don't know what Redbubble is, it's pretty much a print-on-demand company that allows you to upload designs to its platform. And in exchange for you uploading designs to its platform, it allows you to put those designs on things like t-shirts and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Like this right here. Okay, cool. I've been on here for a little while now, and it's just an easy way to make some passive income because once you upload artwork to the platform, the artwork stands the chance to make you money for the rest of your life. If you look over here to my right, items sold, over a thousand items I've sold from this account alone, from this one account alone, I've sold over a thousand items. And the cool part about it, I never had to promote anything. And most people don't even know that any one of my accounts are even mine. So what I'm about to do, geez Louise, my dog just passed gas right beside me. Before I get into it, um, I'm about to drink this right here. It's called Magic Mind. Magic Mind, Magic Mind, Magic Mind is absolutely phenomenal. You're going to hear me talk about this a lot more. Anyway, I'm about to show you something, okay? So the cool thing is if you come over, let me go, let me go here. All right, so what you're going to do is the key to selling a lot of products on Redbubble is you want to you want to upload designs that are related to keywords that a ton of people are searching for automatically. Here's what I'm getting at. You see this camo deer head sticker right here where it says camo deer head sticker? Okay, this is a camo deer head sticker that I created years ago. Right there it says by New Human. That's the name of my store on Redbubble. I'm going to pull up my incognito screen really quickly and I'm just going to search. I don't know if you can see my incognito screen, so I'm going to just go ahead and pull up this one. I'm just going to go to Google and type in camo deer head sticker. And as you see, I scroll down just a little bit. And right here, there's that same exact um, there's that same exact um, sticker that I was showing you. I'm going to click on it. And as you see, it takes you right back to Redbubble. And you'll see that it is being sold by New Human, which is my account. Now, the cool thing is I'm on Google right here. OK, but it's showing up on the first page of Google or at the top of Google when people are searching for it, okay? Because that's something that people search for very often. So I just created a quick little product around it. So the thing you wanna do is you want to know what are people searching for? Because if you can get, if you can get to the top of Google for key phrases that people are searching for, if your product is one of the ones that come up at the top, you'll be one of the ones that get the sales. Also, this one right here, this pink one, that's also mine. As you see, if I scroll down, it says copyright at new human. That's me right there. All right. And so the key to it is you don't just want to upload a bunch of random stuff because that's a waste of time. You want to upload things that you know people are searching for, because if they're searching for it and you show up at the top of the search results, your chances of selling that product is going to increase dramatically. So. I'm going to go over to chat GPT. This is how you come up with really cool stuff. Well, first of all, before I go over to chat GPT, I'm going to pull up something right here that's going to help you out. And I just found this out today. This is a Redbubble keyword research tool. It appears to be free. I've used it a couple of times today. And basically what you want to do is let's just say you, uh, you know, I want to sell something related to a golden doodle. I'm just going to type in golden doodle right here. Is Golden Doodle one word or two words? I should know because I have one. Let me go over here to Google. Golden Doodle. Okay, Golden Doodle is definitely one word. So, okay. So basically what I want to know is this is a Redbubble keywords uh, search tool. So it's going to help me understand um, how many people are searching for the keyword and then also what's the competition and things of that nature. I'm just going to hit search and you're going to see how this works. Now, this thing takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time to come up with the search results from what I've seen in the past. And it's got ads on it. But hey, it's free and free ballers can't be choosy. You can be choosy if you want to be. But 
it's probably not going to help you to be choosy, okay? <laughs> so anyway, it's taking its time, and I'm cool with that because I got time today. So this keyword search tool is going to give us specs on the competition related to that keyword on Redbubble specifically. Um, it's going to tell us how many shops are competing for that same keyword. What main category is this particular keyword selling the most in? And Redbubble, nine times out of 10, it's going to be like stickers. But um, it's going to also show you how many Google search results is being generated every single month for that particular keyword. The difficulty in ranking for that keyword is going to show up right here. And then also, what is the average price that that particular keyword is selling for on Redbubble? You're going to see all those specs here. This is taking longer than it did earlier, like way longer. This is insane. It's a free tool, but you know, while that's searching, I just wanna show you in real time, I'm gonna go and uh, while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna try to find another tool. I'm just gonna type in Redbubble keyword research. Da -da 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 -da. Free Redbubble keywords research tool. Um, selling people on demand on Redbubble. Do, 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 Okay, this one, trending keywords. Okay, so basically this one is just, you type in, okay, that's, that's using Redbubble itself. This is taking a while. This is very interesting. I'm going to refresh this page right here. Like, my God, that's taking a long time. All right, I just refreshed that page. I'm going to come back in a second. All right, so the keyword tool has stopped generating, and it's telling me right now that there's 12,525 um, listings that contain the keyword golden doodle. That sounds like a lot, okay? But there's only 55 shops that I have to compete with on the entirety of Redbubble. That's really cool because there's thousands and thousands and thousands of shops on Redbubble like mine, but only 55 of those thousands and thousands of shops are competing for the keyword golden doodle. And it's also telling me that the main category is um, that this keyword is selling for is stickers. So for instance, I'm going to go to Redbubble right here. I'm just going to type in golden doodle sticker. Golden Doodle sticker, and then watch what comes up right here. So you're gonna have all these Golden Doodle stickers right here. So this, the these are the, um, you know, twelve thousand five hundred twenty-five listings that are coming up right here when when they talk about the competition. Now, uh, that sounds like a lot, but from the keyword tool, if I look down here where it says difficulty, it says if a keyword has a small amount of uh, monthly searches but it has low ranking difficulty, you should consider creating um, the artwork for that. Okay, so the difficulty for this one is very low. So it's telling me that although it has a competition of 12,525, it's getting 1.5 million searches a month on Google. It's only, you know, your only competition is 55 other shops, 12,525 products. The average sticker is selling for four dollars and 89 cent it's telling me basically that i should consider going after that particular product that i should create something around that so maybe i do okay so let's just say i wanted to create something around a golden doodle so what i'm going to do is go over to chat gpt and i have this extension this uh, chrome extension on my chat gpt called a uh, aip RM. It's just a Chrome extension that's very, very powerful. It, it makes your chat GPT look like a transformer. They have this prompt generator right here um, called the Mid Journey Prompt Generator. I'm going to click on it. And all I'm going to do is put in the keyword Golden Doodle. And I'm just going to hit Enter. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to create a prompt for me. It's going to create prompts for me that I can then take and use for my AI art generator. I know there's a lot going on here. So basically what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to go to Playground. I love Playground. This is an AI art generator here. Phenomenal. This is some of the artwork that um, is being created on Playground. So then I'm going to hit Create right here. And then I'm just going to take that prompt that I got from ChatGPT. I'm just going to put it right here. And I'm just going to see what the artwork generate. Oh, let's do this. I'm going to go over here. My prompt guidance is uh, I'm going to boost that up to a 24. And I want it to give me four different outputs for each prompt for each time I hit the generate button. So I'm going to be using Stable Diffusion 2.1. That's the um, software that it's going to be generating these images from. I'm just going to hit enter and let's just see what type of artwork is being generated from the prompts that I have right here. So let's see what happens. All right. So here we go. So we got some images of a golden doodle here. So this is kind of blurry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the word blurry to the um, remove. I'm telling the software to remove anything that has blur in it away from the image. So I'm just going to type in the word blurry because you see this is kind of blurry. And then I'm going to remove these weird images away right here. And then I'm going to hit generate. Let's see what happens. Okay. And so now we have some new images right here. We got that. This one has a signature in it. I don't, I don't want to use that one. But look at this one right here. So let's see what happens when I click the actions bus button. And then I'm going to upscale this image by four times. And while that's happening, I'm going to drink the magic mind. This stuff right here is good. You got to check it out. Mm. It keeps you um, sharp and mentally clear. All right. So now that my image has been upscaled, I'm going to hit download right here. Typically, I would not settle for this, but I just want to show you how easy it is to come up with artwork design. So I'm just going to save this image right here. And then from there, I'm going to open it up by clicking on it. I don't like this image at all, but we're going to use it. And I'm just using it to show you an example. So now I'm going to go back over to my Redbubble account. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to click add new work. I'm going to add new work. I'm going to add new work. And I'm going to take that design and just drag it right there and just let it go, bro. Just let it go. So I'm going to give my artwork a title. And I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to copy these first couple words right here for the title of my uh, product. I want to go here. What, what just happened? Okay, here we go. All right, so there's my artwork. And then I'm just going to drag that right there. I want to use the same words for, actually, what I want to do here, I'm going to go back over here to this. And I'm going to add all of these as my keywords, as many as I possibly can. How many keywords can I add? Okay, 15 relevant keywords per upload. So 15. I'm just going to stop right there. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight keywords. All right, so then and then I'm going to just drag this right here. Bye bye. And there's my image that I just generated for free. There's my image. Now, it's not going to look good on every single product. So it's up to you to determine which products look good. For me, I don't like any of these right here. But I do like the way it looks on this phone. I like the way it looks on this sticker and this magnet. I like the way it looks on this mouse pad. I like the way it looks on this pillow. It doesn't fit this entire um laptop skin. So I don't like that. I like the way it looks on this print card and poster right here. I do like this cat mat, a dog with on a cat mat. That's pretty funny. I like the way it looks on the cup, not on this cup, but this one right here. It's fine. Let's take, let's deactivate that one. I like the way it looks on this iPad case. I like the way it looks on this drawstring. But basically you want the image to cover the entire product that it's on, you know, or, or at least it makes sense. So I like the way it looks there. If you can adjust some of it, but 
like on this book right here, there's no way for me to make it bigger right now. I don't want to waste time with that. Um, anyway, there it is on a clock. I like the way it looks on this notebook. And if you don't like something, you could just deactivate it. Or if something's deactivated and you do like it, you could just hit, you know, the disable button and it will enable that item. So you could do that. You can adjust the, um, the, the mock, the markup that you get on these items. You can do that. You know, um, let's say everything is set automatically at 20% for me. That's enough because, I mean, I'm not promoting any of this stuff anyway. It's just selling on autopilot. And voila. And I'll let that stay. And I like the way it looks on this phone wallet. And that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to select the media type, design and illustration, and then digital art. It's going to ask me if this is a mature content. No, it's not mature content. And then I have the rights to sell this product. I'm going to hit save and then five, four, three, two. And just like that, we got us some new, what I call multiplying my buy buttons. I got some new buy buttons. I got some new artwork or new products that exist on the World Wide Web that people can buy from me all around the world. And it just sits here and Redbubble gets a ton of traffic already. So I never promote any of my stuff and I've sold thousands of items just by doing simple stuff like this. And so usually you can go into um, greater detail and, you know, do more keyword research and things of that nature. I should have got more specific on the keyword and made the golden doodle do something, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to come up with artwork. Every single thing that I used in this video, I'm going to link to it at the bottom of this video. And all you got to do is click on it and go to it and use it. Don't abuse it. Master your mind and make money online. It's Robbie Cornelius Web Asset Group.